Rick Wiles is the somewhat well-known fundamentalist Christian who still has a TV show. I don't know how, given so many of the things that he said. Um, he's got a TV and radio show. And he discussed the pandemic that we're experiencing. And you'll never guess who he decided to blame. This is a report from Israel that yes. the synagogues are the the top spreaders of the coronavirus in Israel. That's, that's not an, an anti-Israel report. That's a, in the times of Israel. The fact They're admitting. They are admitting that the virus clusters are in the synagogues. If you go, in fact, I'll show you the next one from UPI. Chief rabbis urge Israelis to stay away from synagogues. Well, I would too. Stay out of those things. There's a plague in them. God's dealing with false religions. God's dealing with people who oppose his son, Jesus Christ. He's, he's dealing with the forces of Antichrist. And there's a plague moving upon the earth right now. And the people that are going into the synagogues are coming out of the synagogues with the virus. Well, it's spreading in Israel through the synagogues. Who is Israel going to blame that on? There, there, there are no anti-Semitic people going there with the virus spreading it. Now, let me tell you, Mr. Netanyahu, let me tell you, ADL, God, God is spreading it in your synagogues. Yes. You're under judgment because you oppose his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. That is why you have a plague in your synagogues. Repent. Repent and believe on the name of Jesus Christ and the plague will stop. Imagine believing that repenting would change anything. Like, seriously, think about that. Somebody's got the coronavirus, they're having trouble breathing, they got that dry cough going, they got a fever, and they go, I now accept the Lord, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ into my life. And then it's like, ah, you get like the angel music, and then they're just healed. My cough is gone, my fever's gone, oh my God, it works. First of all, if that was the case, like, I, everybody with coronavirus would be like, yeah, sure, I accept Jesus. <laughs> and then they'd be, oh, look, I'm fixed. Oh, isn't that great? Wow. Clearly, I mean, obviously, I shouldn't even have to say this, but it's not going to change Dickie McGee's acts. If you decide to repent and accept Jesus... And I don't, I actually don't doubt his sincerity. I think this guy is just totally, he's just on Neptune. He's out there. He's just insane. So I don't doubt that he believes that. But imagine really believing that. Then, you know, effectively faith healing would be true. But it's not. You can't just, you know, wish away or pray away ailments. Also, if he was right that, hey, this is all you got to do and then you're better. So all the Jews who went to the synagogues and now you came out and you got the virus, just repent. God is spreading the virus. If you repent, it'll go away. By that logic, then wouldn't Christians already be immune under your theory? So no Christians would have the coronavirus. If what you're saying is true, no Christians would have the coronavirus. But of course, they do. And in fact, there was a pretty prominent story about how South Korea largely got coronavirus under control but there was one dude who had it and then went to church and he helped spread it in the church and then it spread to thousands of people. Now, thankfully, South Korea is still handling it so well. Everybody's wearing masks. So many people are getting tested. Um, so they got it way more under control than we do. But they basically had it locked down and one person kept spreading it because he went to church. And if Rick Wiles was right, none of them could get the virus. But they did. Um... And I guess the final point I'll make, which I never understand why these people don't get it, is if God really wanted to punish people, as Rick Wiles is saying he's doing here, oh, he's punishing false religions. That's what he's saying. Why would he do it in this way with an obscure virus where, like, you know, 
80% of the people who get it don't need hospitalization, 20% do need hospitalization, and about 1% to 3% die, depending on a whole bunch of factors and age and availability of care and all that stuff. So that number is subject to change. It's 9% in Italy because there's an older population. It's less than 1% in South Korea. But if God wanted to punish people, why wouldn't he just, you know, at the snap of a finger, punish people? Like, the idea that he spreads it, like, okay, I'm going to go to a wet market in China, and I'm going to make sure it comes from bats, and I'm going to have it spread over an extended period of time. And, like, it's so convoluted. Presumably, God could just, because he's God, God could do anything, right? God could just say to all these people, I just want you to know right now, I will punish you if you don't do X, Y, and Z. He could do that. He's God. He's God. And if he wants to punish, okay, boom, I could just take you out of existence immediately. So I don't... The amount of brainwashing and disconnect from reality that goes into being somebody like Rick Wiles is monumental. And is there a single thing that Rick Wiles hasn't blamed on the Jews? <laughs> Every show is Jews this, Jews that, Jews, Jews, Jews. He just... He can't help himself. He just go after, goes after Jews nonstop. He blames them for everything. He's like an old school anti-Semite. Like he's one of those anti-Semites. He literally said there, I don't know if you caught it in his rant, but he's like, hey, who's spreading the disease? It wasn't any anti-Semitic people who were spreading the disease. So that's him saying like, what are you going to do? You can't blame the anti-Semites. See, the anti-Semites, they're the clean ones. It's the Jews who are dirty. Like, this is who he is. He can't help himself. He's like an old-school anti-Semite. He's, uh... I have no idea how he still has a show. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> of all the things he said over time... And by the way, for a while, his... Somebody from his True News, which is what he calls a show, um, company, they were getting press credentials at the White House. What? <laughs> That's insane. I mean, this guy makes Rush Limbaugh look reasonable. <laughs> so, holy crap. I mean, this is bad. But um, there you have it. God is punishing false religions, and it's the Jews to blame for spreading it. And all you got to do is repent, and you'll get healed. The more you learn.